Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Garda Bond Defense here, back from the video today. And as you can see from the title, I'm honestly thinking that small forwards are the best build in this game. Because what I've been seeing with the small forward position is kind of crazy this year. Point forwards are most definitely back, and all around small forwards are a big thing in this game. But before we get into my favorite small forward build so far, if you need to change that sub button around the road to 600 subscribers, leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and comment for some video ideas of what you want to see from me in this game. But yeah, let's get right into this build. I don't want to keep you guys here any longer than I have to. So, pick your name, and of course, like I said, the small forward position, hand and number, like always. Get this out of the way. And like all my builds, you're going to want to go with the metric system on the main menu. Make sure you change that. And the height is 2.06. Now, as you can see, 2.07 doesn't actually change the stats. You'd be like, why don't you just go 2.07? But you have to go 2.06 to get clamps, so that's the reason. And the weight, it's actually going to be the lowest weight because you get the 86 perimeter, which means you get gold menace, and it just helps with the badges, and it makes it way easier. Now, the wingspan, you want to go one below max because you're, una you're able to unlock gold hot zone hunter and gold corner. And if you go max wingspan, you only get silver, so that's a big thing you want to watch out for. So make sure you go 2.29 meters instead. And I think with all my builds, you want to go build or burly. And for the finishing, you're going to want to go with 85 dunk, a 79 layup. Make sure you use default swing layup package. It's the best in the game. Long athlete's not as good as it used to be. Uh, James Harden, zero packages and curry i love those layup packages but at the same time they force you into so many layups when you're trying to dunk the ball so default swing is by far the best layup package and so don't be worried about not having any layup and unlocking those you'll be perfectly fine with default swing to me it's the best one in the game so i wouldn't be too worried about it and then you want to go to 90 standing dunk just to get gold posterizer so yes this build can catch bodies consistently with how this game is gold and hall of fame post are really good and then the closer you're going to want to go to 54 so you get 22 finishing badges which is more than enough and if you want even more, just go to the plus four college and you'll be able to get those and you have 26 instead, which I want to be mad at you for doing because there's so many finishing badges you could use in this build. And then the shooting, like I said, you get that 83 meter range, it means you get gold hot zone and the 78 three ball means you get gold corner, which is amazing. Because you can see that's great right when you unlock it. So if you didn't have that, you wouldn't be able to get gold hot zone and gold corner. So that's a big thing right there. Then the free throw, you're going to want to go to like a 70-ish for now. I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. I don't remember the exact number of free throw I had. Then the pass accuracy, you're going to want to go to 85. So you get that gold bullet passer. And then the ball handling speed, you're going to max it out, but then drop this ball handle by one. And with 75, you can still get Pro 3 behind the back and Pro 2 crossover with Dame and LeBron. So make sure to do that. And then speed of the ball, you're going to want to go to 70 exactly just to save those points. And then we get down to the nitty gritty of this player the defense no slouch in defense they're gonna have an 88 block to get that hall of fame chase down and golden protector then the defense rebounding is actually gonna be lower than the offensive just for badge purposes because you can see like i have 19 now try to move old bar it goes down one but then the defense you save two points right there so you want to look out for that and the steal i was gonna go with 78 just for gold interceptor but mike going has said that you unlock new steel animations at an 80 so I put it right in 80 just to get those new animations. And then the perimeter's maxed and the interior. You're going to lose out on one defensive badge with this build, which isn't a big deal because you can just get more throughout the season. Badges aren't really the biggest issue for your build. It's more so trying to uh, get as many badges as possible while trying to get really well-balanced attributes in this game. That's what I've kind of noticed. So interior, you're going to want to go right to 70 so you get post-lockdown. And if you go, go below 6, now you lose that 30 defensive badges. So you want to go right at 70. Just to keep post lockdown, which is a great badge. And the speed and excel, you're gonna to want to drop your speed by one, excel by one for now, and get that 75 vertical. And the rest of this, you're gonna put right into your stamina. Now, if you're concerned with 87 stamina and you want more, you can drop your speed a little bit by one more, so you get an 80 exactly, and you can get to 90, or you can put it at 85, keep the speed, and put it back in free throw. It's kind of up to you there. It just depends on what you're most comfortable with. If you want more stamina you're gonna get plus four so keep that in mind if anything the highest you should go is 95 like if you're playing park obviously you don't need a free throw as much you can just put it in there try to get as much as possible like if you're trying to play park only get to like that 94 95 and you're gonna be fine with that which is what i would suggest but if you're gonna use this in 5v5 uh, definitely have that free throw it's gonna help you out especially with how good the finishing is in this build you're gonna be trying to finish a lot so i would keep that in mind 
Yeah, any, anything above like 85 stamina, I would say, is perfectly fine. So don't be too worried about it if you're concerned. It's going to be good, especially when you're an off-ball player. If you're a point guard, you're going to want 99. But if you're someone who's off the ball and not really sprinting all the time, like the point guard dribbling as much, you're going to be fine with 87 stamina if you even want that. I would probably suggest like 85-ish. Just get like a 75 free throw, which is really solid. But yeah, you can see like the badges are basically perfect. You could drop some of these, but why would you do that when 80? I mean, you could, if you're not really concerned with getting the elite alley -oop packages, which I'm assuming most of you would want those, then you could go to 84 driving dunks just to get the contacts. But with the elite dunks, the alley oops are going to help you a little bit, so I would definitely suggest going 85. They're not contacts, but they're uh, like they're just regular alley oop animations, which are really nice to have. And this standing dunk is only at a 90 just to get gold posters, so yeah, having that's probably really important. And like I said, the mid-range, you don't want to touch three-pointer. But the free throw, like the playmaking is perfect. Do not mess with your playmaking. It's absolutely perfect. The defense, I'd say this is the best setup on defense. Yes, it's not maxed or anything. But for the setup you have, 30 badges is great. And you got what you need in every single category. Like this build can play the two, the three, or the four, I would suggest. And those positions are going to dominate at, really. 70 and two is perfectly fine. Uh, the speed and accelerator, pretty good in this build at being 6'9". Your strength is going to be in the 50s. You're going to have a 79 vertical. Around a 90 stamina. Like, there's so many things that this build has going for it. Only thing you can't do is post up, but hey, you still got that 83 mid range. You can always do post fades if you need to. So, yeah, the things I would say you can adjust if you want to. Definitely the stamina. Uh, probably the free throw if you want to change that. And if you want to drop the dunk, I guess you could. Another thing, too, is you can actually lower the strength a little bit. I almost forgot about this. You get it down to 45. So there you go, you got a little bit more points to spend. You put that in your stamina and get a lot out of it, actually. You could put that in your free throw, get an 80. This is something nice you could do if you wanted this setup. And honestly, 90 stamina is perfectly fine. Uh, you got some great overall stats. I mean, this is just crazy. Well, I could only imagine if they still had the plus four in the game. Just This build is insane, but yeah. That's the build. Make any adjustments you feel that are necessary for your play style, whatever your game mode you're playing. And you can see the badges in each category. Like, you get every defensive badge, at least on bronze. So that's really nice there. And the takeovers, you get shot creating takeover at 6'9", which is absolutely crazy. So if you put ankle breaking shots on, you can play like Paul George. Uh, you can pick shot creator and lockdown and play just like Paul George, really. And then you also get rim protector and glass cleaner. So if you're trying to play the power forward role a little bit more, not much of a wing role, I would suggest doing that. But if you're playing on the wing, definitely lock and shot creator takeover are going to be the best two options for you. And then just flip them around if you want to play big man. But yeah, this build, absolutely incredible small forward shooting guard powerful build. Two-way mid-range facilitator, a pretty cool name, Lamar Odom, Brandon Ingram, Mikhail Bridges. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And let me know if you guys make this build for yourself. I'm probably going to be making it sometime when I get the time to actually grind some builds in this game and play online a little bit more. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and let me know how this build works for you in the comments below.